Power Brothers and Sisters. It's your girl, Coco Black. And guess what? I'm excited. Today is my lock anniversary. That's what's up. Two years. Two years locked. Can y'all believe it? I can't believe it. I'm just pretty excited. I'm also excited because on this, my two year lock anniversary, guess what I got in the mail today? Guess what I got? Well, actually, it came in the mail yesterday. So, yesterday I recorded my first video and if you all watched that, you will remember I said that I was going to be doing a henna review. So lo and behold, like right after I get done recording the video, this comes in the mail, my henna. So I was super excited about that. And so I'm going to be coloring my hair. I get to do it on my two-year lock anniversary. So I don't know if you know anything about henna, but henna is a non-chemical dye. And that's something that I had promised myself, you know, for quite a while that I was going to stop using the chemical dyes. I dye my hair a lot because I have gray. You see all this gray up here? It would be a lot more if I didn't dye my hair. And I know a lot of people tell me you should just embrace it and all of that. But guess what? I just, I'm not, I'm not ready to embrace gray yet. I've been having gray hair since I was like 26, premature gray hair. So I'm not ready to embrace that. Maybe in about another 10, 15 years, something like that. But right now, you know, I just want to, you know, do my thing. Plus, I like experimenting with color. So um, this is a safe way to do it. It's the best of both worlds because henna not only colors your hair, but it also conditions your hair. It also nourishes your scalp. It also helps uh, prevent the split ends. So it's just a really good treatment for your hair overall anyway. So that to me is the best of both worlds. You can't beat that. You get to have some cool color and experiment with color as much as you want to and do it safely. And it's also helping you to make your hair more healthy. So I say, hey, if you want to do some dye, go with the henna. So I got this actually from Henna Color Lab. Um, they are based out of Portland, Oregon, and looks like they got some pretty good products. So not just um, the henna color, but they also have um, some hair treatments and shampoo as well, conditioners. So uh, I will be, you know, if, if everything goes all right with this, I will be uh, getting a lot from them. So let's see what it's all about. I did already open the package, but um, I'm going to open this package and see what we got in here. This is the mahogany color. So I want to show you the package first. If you all can see that. It's mahogany. This is what it looks like. It comes with instructions. I'm going to open that up too. Smells good. It's like a, 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 I can't even explain the smell, but it's really like earthy, very earthy smell to it. So yeah, it comes with the instructions. I guess this goes around your head. Yeah. When you're dying it. Or is this the cap? I'll figure all of this out. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing a review on this henna. I'm going to stop the recording and then I'm going to go ahead and put it in my hair and get the color going and everything. And then when I'm done, I'm going to show you all the results. If everything goes all good, then the next time I color my hair, I'm going to do a tutorial for you all. So I just wanted to show you all that it comes with the directions here. As I said before, it's a mahogany color, which is pretty much what I have already, except for this is going to be all natural this time. So I can't wait to see what it looks like. It came just in time because uh, I have a couple few networking events that we're going to be attending um, starting tomorrow and then uh, later on in the week. So this is right on time. I can't wait. I'm going to be going to those events looking fire. So get all this colored. Can y'all see my, 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 my free form is, is really forming. That's cool. That's what's up. I'm, I'm really digging how my hair is starting to turn out and this my going into now my third year of having locks and probably about my sixth month of free forming. And I'm just at this point right now where I'm really, I mean, I always did love my locks from the beginning, but I'm just really starting to just love them and appreciate them. And I'm just, I'm falling in love with them at this point. So this is perfect. I'm going to do this henna 
and I will be back later on this evening or either tomorrow. Probably will be tomorrow because I'll be looking all good for the event that I'm going to. So, uh, but it'll be in a few minutes for you all. And then I'll be back, show you the results, and we're going to go from there. So, uh, see y'all in a few. Four to six days later. Hey, guys. So, I'm back. And it is some days later. I don't even know how many days later because um, I think the last time when uh, I recorded, it was, I believe it was Saturday or it might have been Friday. One of those two days. Um, but I said I was going to do the henna application that day. But what had happened was, what had happened was I had um, started looking at the directions and I didn't know that the process was going to be so long. And so I decided I was just going to wait um, until I had a little bit of time to do it because of the fact that I was covering gray. And when you are applying henna, I found out um, on top of gray, it is actually a, a two-step process. So basically, what I had to do was um, go in and apply it to the gray areas first, and then um, let it sit for an hour. And then after that, you go back and you apply the henna to the rest of your hair for, and then you let that sit for another two hours. So right there, that's three hours. And this is not counting the time it takes to mix the henna because it comes in a powder form and you have to add water to it and you stir it up until you get like a pudding um, cake mix like consistency. So that takes some time. And then it takes a lot of time to wash it out. So um, it was, you know, it was going to, I knew it was going to be a pretty lengthy process. So I said, let me wait until I actually have some time to do it. And it, it did take me like a whole evening to, you know, for the whole process. And then on top of that, uh, it takes about 48 hours for the color to release. So basically, um, this is, I'm just now hitting the 48 hours because I got finished with the application Tuesday night and it was about um, 11 o'clock. It's now 11.44. And so um, it is, you know, the 48 hours, it says it takes 24 to 48 hours. So I was like, well, let me wait, you know, to record my results until I get that full release. So here it is. This is my results. I'm going to let y'all see it. And uh, it, it, it did really, really, really good. I'm really happy and satisfied with my henna results. Now, you might be able to see a couple of gray strands. And I swear to God, my hair just grows super, super fast. So these actually have popped up in like the last maybe 24 hours or so. But but I did get really, really, really good results with um, the coverage. Um, I am very, very happy with this uh, process. And I am glad that I made the decision to um, go the natural route because I'm a natural girl. So I was like, you know, I might as well just start, you know, using this henna instead of using these uh, chemicals in my hair. You know, I'm, I'm very much so against um, chemicals, and but yet I was still using um, the chemical dye. So that didn't make sense. So I'm just glad that, you know, I, I went on ahead and took that step. It took me a while. I had been researching henna for quite some time now, probably about a good year now. And um, I don't know, just you know, maybe was a little apprehensive about trying something new, but I'm glad I finally did it and I really like it. Um, so I guess I'll talk about the pros and cons of my experience with henna, my experience. Now, my experience may be different than, you know, others, because um, in my research, I did find a lot of um, people when I was watching YouTubes and just reading articles and things like that. Yes, I did a lot of extensive research. But what I found was there were a lot of people who, um, you know, kind of, you know, were against the whole henna thing. And there were a lot of people that were for it. So, um, me, myself, I just say, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. And, um, here's what I found. Now, as far as the pros, um, it, it, for me, it made my hair extremely soft and it just felt a completely different way. And already it just feels thicker. Um, not that it wasn't thick. I have really thick hair as you can see, but it just made it feel even more thick. It, it 
just added, I don't know, it was this extra something. It was just very soft and um, I, I really like the way that it has felt the last couple of days. Um, also, I think um, the pro to it is, of course, you know, being completely 100% natural. That is for me, I mean, in itself, that's, <laughs> that, that is, that is all the reason in the world. Um, it, the look of it to me, it just looks really, um, shiny and, um, just very, um, the, the, the color to me, it just really comes through. So I'm glad about that. Um, now as far as the cons, yes, there are a couple of cons for me, but not anything, not enough that I wouldn't do it again. Basically, the biggest con is the time factor. Yes, it is a, uh, uh, it does take a while. So if you're somebody who doesn't like to um, take a lot of time to, you know, do your hair, then I would say maybe it's not for you. Or maybe you can just pick a day when you know you don't have anything else to do. Um, but it, it is rather time consuming because like I said, again, you have to mix it. And then um, even before all of that, you have to shampoo your hair before you even start the process because you got to start on clean hair. So you're shampooing first and then you're mixing the application together. And then the application process, like I said, um, it takes about an hour, you know, if, especially if you're covering gray, you're going to let it sit for an hour and then you're going to go back after that and reapply it to the rest of the hair, including the, the, the gray roots area and then um, let it sit for another two hours. So that's that's basically the biggest con. Um, another con, now this one I don't care about too much because of the fact that I'm never going back to chemical dyes again. But for some people you may wanna know that if you do plan on dyeing your hair um, with chemical dyes, you probably should not be using henna because Henna is resilient to uh, chemical dyes. So uh, if you go back and try to dye your hair with the chemical dyes, it's, it's not going to happen after the henna. Um, so that is one of um, the, the biggest cons, I would say, for other people. Again, me, not so much because I don't plan on using that ever again. Um, so, yes, I think that... Um, this is something that I'm going to continue to do. Uh, I usually color my hair maybe about, I would say, every um, every three months, maybe. So um, the next time I get some grays coming in, I am going to do a henna tutorial and um, show you guys how I did the process. And that's basically it. I want to hear from you guys, though. Uh, first of all, I want you to like and subscribe and uh, make sure that you do not forget to hit that notification bell so that when I have another video, you all will be the first to know about it. But yes, I want you all to um, hit the comment section and let me know, um, let me know what you think. If, if you like the color, um, it is a mahogany color again, and um, it's basically the same color that I had before. Four. Um, not too much different. It is a little bit more vibrant now with the henna, but let me know what you think about it. And then also let me know what you all think as far as um, henna itself. Like, are you for it? Are you against it? Uh, have you tried it before yourself? What were your results? Uh, did you like it? Are you willing to try it if you have not tried it before? I want to hear all of that. Um, and before I get out of here, I did want to um, talk a little bit about the the brand, which was Henna Color Lab, and they are based out of Portland, Oregon. Um, 100% natural, they claim, um, from the ingredients, and basically this is what the package sorry this is what the package looked like, and um, it didn't take long at all for it to come. They said it was coming in four or five business days, ended up coming like two days later. Um, total price with the shipping and handling was $13.67, so pretty inexpensive, um, pretty much the same that I would have paid for a color dye, I mean a, a chemical dye rather, and um, basically that's it. So again, y'all, subscribe, like the page, give me them thumbs up, 
and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, again, don't forget to hit that notification bell. I am Naturalicious Coco Black, and I thank you all for tuning in. Peace, power, and blessings. All right.